Welcome to the last lesson of this unit, which means you're now going to have to get prepared for your unit final. Now what we're going to do is the very last part, and that's where we're going to start comparing unit rates. Um, and this will allow you to figure out which rate is better. It mostly occurs in the area of shopping, and that's where you want to find out which is the better buy. That's why these are sometimes called best buy questions. So if you take a look at the example on page 300 of your textbook, you'll see that there's four types of milk. And the milk comes in four different sizes, 250 milliliters, 500 milliliters, one liter, and two liters. So you can buy, you know, the different types. The question is, which one's the best one to buy? Assuming that, you know, the amount isn't important. So how can you figure it out? Well, you have to convert every one of those prices and amounts into uh, the price for one of the amounts that you already have. So, for example, I've chosen one liter. So I want to know what is the price of all of these to buy one liter. <clears throat> so I, then once I have them all in liters, one liter, all I got to do is convert to, to check the prices. And the one which has the least uh, amount per liter, that would be my better buy. So let's take a look at what we got to do here. Well, the first thing we have to know is there's 1,000 milliliters in one liter. So I'm going to go around here and I'm going to do some changes. This is 1,000 milliliters, but I'm not going to work with this one because I already know the price for one liter is 279. So this one I don't actually have to even touch. This one's my base. But this one over here, this is 2,000 milliliters. So these are my the amounts that I'm going to work with, not two liters. Now I could have changed the 250 into liters, um, but or into, sorry, into uh, um, liters and then converted it, so it'd be like 0 0.25 and then convert it to a thousand. But it's just easier to have, have everything in milliliters. Okay, so let's take a look at our prices. We want to know we've got $1.49 for 250 milliliters. Okay, price over milliliters. I want to know how much does it cost for 1,000. Remember, this is one liter. All right, so I knew now I just have to do my math, which I'm quite familiar with doing now. 1.49 over 250 times 1,000. X over 1,000 times 1,000. These cancel. So X is whatever 149 divided by 250 times 1,000 is, and that's $5.96. Okay? So, let's do the next one. We got 500 milliliters. Well, we uh, want to know that 500 milliliters cost us two, sorry, $1.69 for 500 milliliters. We want to know how much it is for a thousand. So this is so it's just the same math as always. Let's cancel. So X means you're gonna spend three dollars and thirty-eight cents. Oops, I guess I got my X in the wrong spot there. Uh, there we go. So X equals in this case three dollars and thirty-eight cents. I should have put more space here. Okay, now I know that this one is, circle it in there so I see it, this one's 279, this one's 338, let's do the 2000 now. The 2000 is $3.99, so for $3.99 you get 2000 milliliters. We want to know how much you're going to pay for 1000. Alright, so I'm doing the math. Three ninety nine over two thousand times one thousand is X over one thousand. Oh, too many zeros. Times one thousand. Please cancel. Leave me with X. And this is one point nine nine five, which means when you round it to money, it's two dollars. Because you can't have half a penny. All right, so now take a look at what we got here. The best buy in this case is going to be uh, the two liters, because this one here is $2 for a liter. 
This one is 279 for a liter. And this one is 596 for a liter. And this one is 338 for a liter. So it's quite obvious that the best buy is going to be the one, the two, the two liter package. Note that all the decimals on our left so that the cost is close to a penny as you can get. Okay, here we go. Here's some garbage bag ones. Garbage bags come in packages of 12 garbage bags for buck 99 or 48 garbage bags for $5.29. Which garbage bag is better? Now, my advice is to choose one to change to and leave the other one. So I would advise you to leave the 48 and find out how much 12 garbage bags for buck 99 is for cost for 48 garbage bags. So pause the recording and do this one. I was just reading the question here, and it says here that you should uh, use, a, use the unit cost, and I, I just told you not to, so I'm going to take this out. I'll probably change that on the main lesson for the classroom, too. It doesn't make sense to use unit cost here when you, when you can do half the amount of work. So I know that 48 garbage bags is 529. So if this is 529, there's no need to do any work to find out, you know, find out which one bag is at that rate. Let's just find out the 12 bag you're going to spend 199 for 12, we want to know how much you're going to spend for 48, okay? So then you've done this so many times by now, you should be getting really good at it. X is equal to, and this comes out to be, uh, I actually have things in the wrong way. I have to grab my calculator and do the math. What's this thing? I don't want to start... This is weird. Right, let's get my calculator out here. Okay, so I need to know what dollar forty nine is. All right, so let's find out what dollar forty nine. Sorry, uh, one ninety nine, one point nine nine. Divide that by twelve. Equals. Now don't take this out of your calculator. Leave it there. Just go times forty eight. Okay, now take a look at this. This is 7.9599999999998. Okay, now we need to cut this off. This is money, so the cutoff is going to be right there. This nine right here will cause that five to go up. So this rate, seven dollars and ninety-six cents. Okay. All right. So seven dollars and ninety-six cents per forty-eight box. Over here on this side, see if I can get rid of this thing. This way, buy a 48 box, it's five dollars and twenty-nine cents per 48 box. So I want you to take a look. Which one's the better buy? Well, obviously, I'd rather spend five twenty-nine per bag. So the 48 box. And I'm going to caution you, taking a guess without any information, without any, uh, <laughs> without any um, proof, it's not going to get you anything, so don't even bother trying. All right, let's do a rate of pay. Job A, job B. Job A, you work 15 hours and receive 128.40. Job B, you work for 22 hours and receive 203.50. And for job C, you work 725 hours and receive 65.90. Now, I'd like you to do this one. Um, the easiest way for this one, even though I told you before not to do a unit rate, it's easier for all of these to convert them all to just the basic rate of pay. How much per hour? So, let's have you try that. All right, here we go. We have job A, 128.40 for 15 hours. How much for one hour? Okay, so so doing the work, we get 128.40 over 15 times one is x over one times one. Hey, my writing's getting worse and worse as it goes. So that means that x is equal to, in this situation, 
$8.56. So there's your first rate of pay for job A, $8.56 an hour. Let's take a look at the next one. We have 203.50. That's for 22 hours. We want to know how much it is for one. Yeah, it's definitely time for me to give myself a break and start to make silly errors. All right, so again, 203.50 over 22 times 1 is x over 1 times 1. So in this case, x comes out to be $9.25. So there's your second rate of pay for B. Let's take a look at C. We have $6,590.25, and that's for 725 hours. We want to know how much it is for one hour. So again, 6590.25 over 725 times 1 is x over 1 times 1. These cancel, leaving you with x. And this one is $9.09. .09. So there is your third rate of pay. So which one is the best rate of pay? Job B. Up to now, all the units have been the same. Now we have to start doing some swapping of units. 1.4 kilograms of peanuts for 8.99, or 400 grams of peanuts for 2.50. Okay. Now you'll be able to ask me how many grams in a kilogram. Remember the K stands for a thousand, so one kilogram equals one thousand grams. So you're going to have to compare the cost of the same amount of peanuts in order to find the best buy. So you need to change everything into either grams or kilograms, and everything's all mixed up. So you may as well just work with with both of them. So to make things easier, let's do kilograms. All right, so first off, we have 8.99 for 1.4 kilograms. We want to know how much for one kilogram. Now, because the amount we're buying is going down, we should have less than 8.99. So doing the math, 8.99 over 1.4 times 1. So X over here means that you're going to pay $6.42. That's how much you can pay per kilogram. Now, 400 grams for 250, the first thing we have to do is change the 400 grams into a number that we can use. All right. So um, 400 grams um, is equal to how many kilograms? So we're working with 1,000, so you can multiply or divide by 1,000. So 400 grams times 1,000 adds three more zeros to this, so 400 grams would be equal to uh, 40,000 kilograms, which is a lot. That's huge. <laughs> so we know we're going to be dividing by, by 1,000, which means this is 0 0.4 kilograms. So that means if you pay 250 for 0 0.4, how much do you pay for one? Now, you have to have the units the same, otherwise this will not work. So 250 or 0 0.4 times 1 is equal to x over 1 times 1. These cancel. So x is going to be 250 divided by um, that, which gives you 625. All right, so which one is the better buy? Well, uh, the bigger package is a better buy, but not by much. So the better buy here is the, um, sorry, what did I say? The bigger package. The cheaper package is the smaller one. So. So the 400 gram bag is 6.25 per kilogram. The 81.4 kilogram bag is 6.42 per kilogram. So the 400 gram bag is actually significant, not significantly, but there is cheaper. Okay, so here we go. Bob traveled on the highway at a speed of 115 kilometers per hour. How many seconds will it take him to travel 12 meters? So if a deer jumped out in front of his car, 12 meters out of the ditch, how long would he have to react and turn that vehicle? So, straight physics question. Well, we have 115 kilometers in one hour, and we want to know 12 meters in how many hours. Now, at this point in time, this is meters, I'm going to do some changes. I want to take and have everything in seconds, all right? So, everything's got to be changed into seconds. This number right here is one hour. I know that that's equal to 3,600 seconds, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the one hour out 
and I'm going to put 3,600 seconds in. It's the same amount of time. Now, the next part I have is I've got 150, 15 kilometers and 12 meters. Now, kilometer, one kilometer, is equal to 1,000 meters. So I'm going to take 115, and I'm going to multiply this by 1,000. That gives me 115,000. So that is now in meters. So now everything is in meters and seconds. I now I'm going to get an answer. So now all that's left to do is to flip it and multiply. So I now have 3600. I'm going to flip it over 115,000 is equal to x over 12. So then multiplying both sides. Those cancel. And 3600 divided by 115,000 is 0. 0.38 seconds. So just, just under 4 tenths of a second. Can you react that fast and avoid the deer? Well, it'd be awfully close. Depends on if you're paying attention. If you saw it coming right out of the ditch, 12 meters ahead of you, and you swerve just at the right time, you might be able to take the car, the deer into the side of the car. But yeah, you're probably going to be calling your insurance company. Okay, we're done. Chapter 5 is finished. I'm going to work on your final assignment. Don't forget this right here, coming right up. So if you have any questions, go back over the video. Watch it as many times as you need to. And if that doesn't do it, you come in and talk to me. And we will see you in Unit 6.